great to uh, see so many familiar faces. Yeah, thanks for attending the ISOM workshop a few weeks ago. Uh, very glad uh, to talk about a little bit about the uh, using MI to guide the TDS montage and uh, those. Please move forward. Yeah, so our goal is uh, very similar to everybody else. We want to do personalized, uh, uh, more precise TDCS treatment uh, using MI as guidance. Uh, so uh, the technique specifically we're interested in uh, and we developed is uh, called the Dual Echo EPI, uh, which uh, gives you uh, simultaneous measurement of the uh, magnitude and the phase uh, of the MI signal. And uh, from the face of the MI signal, we actually can uh, estimate the magnetic field uh, induced by TDCS from BZ direction, uh, which is, uh, you know, in the magnitude wise, it's proportional to the uh, electric field uh, in the orthogonal direction. And concurrently, we can get the, uh, the bold signal uh, for resting FMI analysis. Uh, if we can uh, do magnetization uh, preparations such as use arterial spin labeling, then we also get to the CVF, which uh, indicate the neurophysiology change associated with TV sets. Uh, please move forward. Uh, due to time limits, uh, so I, I, I don't uh, go into the technical uh, details very much. Uh, you can uh, look up our papers, uh, but I'm just focusing on a, uh, a clinical trial uh, recently using this technique uh, conducted by my colleague uh, Kathleen now at uh, uh, UCRA on major depression. Uh, so in this trial, uh, we are comparing uh, two montage, basically HD uh, high definition, which is one by four kind of electric kind of design with one anode in the middle, and uh, you will see the uh, four cathode as return electrodes. So this will provide more focal uh, stimulation than compared to a conventional uh, five centimeter by seven centimeter uh, pad electrodes on the uh, left prefrontal cortex. And um, you know the, the 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 position was based on the meta-analysis of TMS uh, in major depression then project onto the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. And then we have a 12 uh, days, basically uh, two weeks treatment. Uh, and uh, uh, we did uh, MI before and the post uh, the treatment, but then, you know, we verified that the uh, positioning using brain side neural navigation at the, uh, in the middle, right at the visit six. And then we use 3D Picasso to measure CVF and the dual echo EPI to map the magnetic field and the uh, both signal. Please move forward. Uh, so you can see, you know, here, um, this is the magnetic field. Um, uh, you can see the HD actually induced relatively focal um, magnetic field change uh, in the left dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, right under the electrode uh, with the arrow pointing. And you can see the sign flip of the positive to negative, uh, negative magnetic field. And the current is actually, you can intuitively understand it's right uh, at the center of this uh, sign flip. And if you look at the, uh, the second column, which is the conventional, you will see it's very diffuse. Uh, it's sweeping through the whole um, prefrontal cortex. And the sham, you know, uh, which is very nice, we don't see much uh, induced magnetic field change. And we did a two hour one is the um, frontal cortex, uh, BA46, and the uh, anterior cingulate, BA9, and the both are significant. Uh, but the, uh, the effect size was slightly larger with the HD uh, on the uh, prefront, uh, on the ACC, in the ACC. Um, and then you can see actually the bold signal there is uh, correlated with the uh, applied current actually under the electrodes in the left prefrontal cortex. Please move forward. So this is the CVF results, which is the post-treatment minus the pre-treatment baseline. 
Uh, it's uh, quite amazing. We saw two clusters, basically one in the left dot level prefrontal cortex and one, another one in the ECC. Uh, they're both significant. Um, uh, the, the frontal was significant for both electro montage, but was only significant in the anterior cingulate uh, in the HD condition. And amazingly, if we compare HD versus the conventional, we see also the subgenual ACC lights up. Uh, this is only related to HD stimulation. Yeah, please move forward. So basically, based on the um, you know behaviorally, uh, we don't see significant uh, effects yet. Uh, uh, our primary outcome, but uh, you know the imaging finding because this is a pilot study uh, to determine the target engagement. So, so this actually from imaging we kind of confirm the engagement of uh, frontal dorsal lateral prefrontal use both montage, but significantly CBF change uh, in left dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex, but only ACC only for HDTD cells. So uh, we think you know HD was more suitable for uh, this treatment. An ongoing study was a, a formal uh, clinical trial with HD only. So I would like to thank my colleagues at both USC and UCLA. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.